Hi everyone, today at Tadja I'm gonna talk to you about Rapido Fruit. It's a game for two to four players for five to eight years old. It's an observation and speed game on the animals and fruit and vegetable teams. So I'm gonna show you how it plays and tell you what I think right after. So the game comes with multiple cards, animal cards, with or without fruit or vegetable. And it comes with a package that contains fruit and vegetable on each card. And the goal of the game is to be the one that will get most of these cards. And to do so, so um, we're going to distribute uh, the cards equally between the players. When the two players turn their card and we see an animal, the same animal, the player is going to tap as quickly as possible on the pile here and the one, the fastest, will get the card. If we get Two animals that are the same but doesn't have the same vegetable as on the card, it doesn't matter as long as it is the same animals, then you can tap. But typically, you're going to have two different animals with or without a vegetable or fruit in their hand. However, you can only tap if whatever animals have in their hand is represented on the card. In this case, this gazelle has the watermelon. so each the players can go really fast and tap on the card. There are also um, these uh, animals with uh, boxing gloves. In this case, the person who turned this card cannot play, only this one. However, this one cannot tap on the pile because it doesn't have a fruit or a vegetable that is represented on the card. If they have turned this combination, then this player still cannot play, but this one can tap because the monkey has the banana. So we're going to distribute all the cards to the players and I'm going to show you a small game. So we have distributed the cards between the players and we've put the fruit vegetable cards here on the side. So you ready? So there's um, a watermelon here. I'm going to take the card. Let's continue. So this player cannot play, there's the boxing gloves. I have the watermelon again. No. No again. We need a lettuce or we need two animals of the same species. Nothing. A lettuce. A monkey. So two monkeys of the same species, however, this uh, player cannot play because of the boxing gloves. <laughs> the carrot. Oh, yeah, so you get the, the lettuce. Nothing there. Yeah, the carrot. Nothing. Yeah, I can play. Nobody can play. And nothing. Okay, so then we're taking the, the, pa the pile, we're gonna shuffle it and we start over. And we're gonna play until all the fruits and vegetables here are done. No, I can't play. Nothing. Yeah, watermelon. Yeah. Nothing. We can't play. <laughs> no. So when a player make a mistake, he's gonna have to give back one of his uh, fruit and vegetable card and put it at the bottom. You got it. No. <laughs> Just in time. No. And we start over. I'm not fast enough, I think. I can't play. I can't. Okay, we finish all the cards. Now we're gonna count how many uh, fruit and vegetable cards we have, and the one with the most card will win. I have nine cards. I have eleven. So the other player wins. So what I'm thinking about Rapido Fruit, um, first of all, I was a little disappointed with the graphic on these cards. They are not so great. And as you can see, we have only four animals. So we have the panda, 
the gazelle, the elephant and uh, the monkey and they are just so so nothing great, nothing incredible same thing for the fruit or vegetable there's nothing wow about these cards um, and overall the game what I found about it, it it was too complex there's too many rules like okay if you have the boxing gloves you can play if you have two gazelle you can tap the card if you have two elephant uh, you can tap the card even if you don't have the fruit that is shown uh, on the fruit cards etc and every time yes we're trying to go faster and, and, and get the speed going but it's not possible because oh yeah I can tap oh yeah no I can't you can't tap because you have the gloves remember so we ended up spending a lot of time thinking about the rules I think it's too complicated for nothing anyway um, also these cards like I said nothing great on the graphic side uh, what happened on multiple of our games, here we have 20 fruit cards and many times my son got 10 and I got 10. So many of our games ended up without a winner. So I do recommend if you play, so remove one of these cards so you can have 19 and you, are, you, you will be sure to always have a winner and a loser in that game. So for me, I found I'm not really attracted by this game. There is a lot of other speed and observation game that I really like much more even uh, by Jekko this one not one of my favorite unfortunately so you try it maybe it's your style of game and uh, I see you later bye bye